Next question is, do you think, uh, what do you think is going to be a game changer, more of a game changer, new physics or new battle modes? I think battle modes will make the game more interesting and it would bring more variety to the gameplay. Having, you know, a center cap zone where everyone has to cap it out would force more people to be more risky instead of passive aggressive. Uh, and also concentrate more on gameplay or even, you know, escorting a VIP uh, against, you know, enemies or even, you know, garage battles. I think those type of gameplay modes would give the game new life or more life and allow people to have more choices and, you know, how they want to play it. Do I just want to go out and just play a quick round and, you know, pub battle? Or do I want to spend, you know, an hour playing Garage Battles? So it would give more relative uh, interest into the game and, you know, boost activity um, in the long haul. And also it will bring back a lot of older players who got burnt out just doing pub battles. So I yeah, think... There's nothing worse than doing Capture the Flag, you know, for 4,000 battles. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's... It will, you know, bring new life to the game, at least I think. The physics, it would be a nice functionality or new aspect to the game, but just having different game modes will bring more life. It will make it different, a lot different, instead of just physics. So, you guys, what do you guys think? Looking forward to LOL Tractor uh, Bowling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The next question is, what cigar are you smoking in your profile picture? Who says it was a cigar? Uh, you, know, you, you should have asked more specifically what's in that blunt wrap there. <laughs> so, some primo good shit is what I'm saying. He doesn't remember. Yeah, yeah. I don't actually remember that picture being taken. I All I remember is looking through my camera the, ne the next morning and going, oh, that's a nice picture. I'll just go ahead and save that. So. <laughs> Deleted everything else. Uh, everything else is saved. Uh, he did that was some a wild experimenting night. that night. <laughs> Ooh. That was a wild Holy night. Holy shit, it's Raj. What's up, Raj? What's up, yeah, man? What's up? Yeah, Flatty and Pandy. Oh, man, was perfect God, for this recording. Oh, yeah, man, oh. right at the very ending. What up? Bring on, on the troll. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, we're, you know, doing a Q&A for my channel. The next question, before we were interrupted by Mamo, is French heavy tanks, are they over-nerfed? I agree that the nerf on the French mediums because of pen, speed, and damage output was basically overwhelming. But I believe they shouldn't have nerfed the heavy tanks like they did. I believe Wargaming did s said something how they thought the tanks were on par with other tanks of the same tier, yet they still nerfed them. What is your opinion on the matter? I believe that the French tanks in their pre-nerf mode were good. I, I thought they were balanced. I believe that they were nerfed out of public outcry because people didn't know how to counter them. They needed to pack up and work more of a team instead of just going out and being random like they were. I believe that what they should have done was make the auto-loading period a little longer. Where you fired and instead of having a round chambered within 2.5 seconds or 3 seconds, they should have made them respectively 3 seconds or 3.5 seconds and left everything else alone. The French tanks, even in the pre-nerf mode, or you know method or the way that they were set up already had the lowest amount of hit points per tier and the least amount of uh, armor per tier uh, pick a different tank flat we don't want to take that nasty arty if you want to run arty bring out big boy this is the only arty i respect in the game hi flat and if you don't own one you're an ass clown you talk about the what is that tech? But that's SU twenty six. Yeah. I knew it. So I uh, I think the French tanks. I think they need a buff now, uh, at least in the fashion of hit points, and that's it. I, I don't you, think. 
they are needed to... Are you restricting to, to just heavies, I mean, or are you talking about mediums and heavies? Just French tanks in general. They should put back their gun depression and elevation, you know. But I totally agree with what you're saying. It's just people were just upset over that they didn't know how to counter them, and it was just an outcry on the forums, and people were like, oh, they're OP. Yeah, that HP nerf really hurt them, along with the gun depression. I mean, that's that's a lot. I don't think I've ever seen a nerf quite that bad. It was the worst. And, and it wasn't just for one tank, it was for a whole damn series. So, I mean, yeah. you know, run the run the test on it before you do it, you know? Or... Are you gonna bring that 59? God damn it, hold on. Yeah, we didn't win the double on it. I already got my double on this. Any other comments about Frenchies? Anybody who plays them is homo. They all suck. The only good one is the 13 series. <laughs> Which, for those who don't know, the 1375 is named after the ton of the, of the vehicle. Which is 13 tons, and the gun we size is 75 or 90. So there you go. It's a pickup truck, dude. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I thought it was the year they were. <laughs> wow. The next but no, question. Like, it usually helps that, you know, we don't lag out. Forward talk. slash sarcasm. <laughs> I thought it was the year that. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Run over the fucking supplies. <laughs> the next question is a hey, Pandy. With the use of mods like the XFVM, what is your opinion on the practical or on the perceived importance of player stats, both in Clan Wars and pubs? Or are they even important? They are not really important. Uh, when it comes to determining how good someone is, you can have really awesome stats, but all you're doing is sitting at the base and waiting for your team to go out and, you know, fight it, duke it, and then go around and one-shotting everything else once the battle is basically over. You're not helping the team when you do that. But when it comes to stats, and, you know, especially in Relic, we do a basic first look at your stats to see where you sit in regards to skill set. Uh, hit ratio, at least in my eyes, is one of the more important ones because it just shows how many times you can hit the target. It just shows how accurate and how how well you're doing overall in your perceived battles. And then average experience is not really as important, but when it comes to understanding how well you do overall in game, it does come to a point where that's all the information that we happen to have. Win ratio and the rest of the stats, not as important just because it doesn't give us a real good idea about how you are as a player that's the reason why when someone comes drops an application we tell them to jump on TeamSpeak, come platoon with us come play with us so we can get a better understanding on how good you are because well, you might have how awesome did stats, I get in the clan you got in because you have your sexy ass voice that's how you got fucking in oh okay. i agree that's the only reason <laughs> I, i'm pretty much I, I feel like you're speaking truth <laughs> okay is, is my opinion one on this? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Okay, so... <clears throat> my Probably view, not, but... I'll please you state your right name. Uh, Mammoth Mark II. Uh, <laughs> Serial number. <laughs> no, fuck you. You ain't getting none of that shit. Um, <laughs> bad enough I got a serial number on me, right? Uh, so, I disagree when somebody says the stats are not important or like... Okay, I came from a game like many of you, Navy Field, right? where you can tell a lot about a person by the stats, right? And I think it's a mirror image on this. I think efficiency rating is not as much because it's so heavily weighed towards cap, right? Uh, if you look at my efficiency rating, I'm at like 1540 or something like that, but if you look at my cap points, and if I'm on my cap points are like, I'm ranked like in the 56,000, 57,000, I don't cap, I just don't. I'd rather go and tear shit up, right? And, um, but when you look at win percentage, I think that's a lot. You know, running the 56 right now, which is, you know, I think it's pretty decent from right there on the edge of 57. Uh, hit ratio, I think, is the most definite, of course, of all of them. But it's also going to be watered down because of artillery. 
So you got to really analyze the player down to the artillery or down to the tank level as well, right? If he's running a lot of mediums, fast mediums, you're going to have a little bit lower hit rate, right? Than like a big heavies, you know, because you should be accurate as a big fucking heavy because, you I mean, your shots count, right? And you're sitting still most of the time exactly, and you're on right? the move. So I don't think that if you analyze the stats alone at a black and white stage that they're, that they're effective, but if you put them in perspective with what they have and you analyze cross data, you know, not just saying the player by himself, but take a player like Herlaib. Look at look at Herlaib's performance, right? You can't tell me that if you look at a 61% win rate, that that guy is not smashing faces, right? You know, I think you're right that um, that dumb pubs can fucking filter things down, that bad clan wars, as my IS-7 has proven, um, my IS-7 win rate is terrible, 50%, right? Because, you know, we've had some really terrible clan wars when I was in second round. Hey, we didn't need a public commentary, we just need an answer to the question. <laughs> I am answering it. It's just he not is, simple. he's good. Oh, damn, 10 minutes later, is that man. Mammo? Yeah. Here, oh, here comes Gosh. Virus, 20 minutes late. Hey, Hi, Virus, you there? Hello. <laughs> but I don't think, I don't think the answer is simple. I don't. You know, um, and I believe awards are also important as well. I mean, um, to a certain, I mean, depending on what it is, like steel walls, who gives a damn, right? Confederates, who gives a damn? But like, Confederates rock, dude. Snipers, snipers are extremely important, I feel, because that also, you know, proves well, this person's Well, a Confederate does, it, does even more. I mean, it lets well, you it, people know that you've I, done six okay. hits. So, right, six hits. So, what's, what, what, how many hits does a Panther 1 put out? Penetrating hits. A Panther 1... All right, well, L, with the L with here's the thing. I don't want to get into a discussion, a debate over which is more critical, right. a Confederate medal or a sniper. <laughs> the right. bottom line is this, is that we understand your point, and we're doing a damn commentary video here. We don't need a fucking lecture. Well, you guys asked my... I mean, you so want your opinion. I'm going to recant this is good. my statement this is good. that your opinion matters. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, though, right? Like... I mean, when when, you, when it comes down to it, you need to, and I, I think another thing is average GXP per battle. I think that's important. I think that's massive as well when analyzing a player. It is, because like, you know, if this guy's got a terrible win rate, and is like say like my IS7, 49%, right? But I have an average GXP of 850. So this guy's been putting up the numbers for his team. He's just been getting shitty games, right? It, you can you can tell when you when you look at things like that. And I think stats are everything. I completely disagree, guys. That's 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 basically where I was, what I was stating. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Ten minutes later. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nobody rush Van Gogh, motherfucker. All right. Yeah. Well, he was an <laughs> artist. <laughs> 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 All right. In my own right. Fucking In my own right. Man. Now, next question. This is the last question. It's actually one of the ones I found humorous. Is uh, if you have non-consensual sex with a hooker, is it rape or shoplifting? I think it's theft of services, like Dave pointed out. But it just it just depends. Did it become non-sensual when you whip out the whip after she accepted your money, or you know the ball and chain? It just depends. It's all relative. So you're well, saying if it's your sister, then it's relative? No. <laughs> because I don't have any sisters. Think about what I just said. <laughs> I see what you did there, Flat. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what, yeah relative yeah. sister. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, in uh, my nah. opinion, if they say no, it just means they like it rough. Right, right. Or to go harder. Your opinion will get you five to ten. <laughs> well, fifteen to ten to twenty. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! With some boys, who do I hear of? Yeah, yeah. You guys are and too I think fine. It, I yes, think sir. I think the question isn't complete. Is it a male prostitute or a female? Oh, it just said hooker. <laughs> that's yeah. That's all that says. <laughs> Just, hmm. just remember, it's it's not the raping that'll make you feel guilty. It's it's the awkward silence afterward. Well, you know, you got people look at prostitutes the wrong way. You're not paying for sex. You're paying for them to leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so where does oh consent God. come in there? I'm I'm trying to put it all together here. You're putting too much thought into it. <laughs> <laughs> 
in the rape dungeon you don't need consent. <laughs> the um that's what I'm saying, man. Just own a few in a box under your bed. <laughs> You know, the way I look at it is wait, if wait, they wait, stay, wait. If they stay in the box, if they stay in the box, they're consenting. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh. Yeah. Well, I came in the wrong channel. <laughs> Do you call yours the gimp? No, no, I stay <laughs> came in the wrong hooker. channel. Okay. <laughs> well, so, with that type a... of ending, uh... Because this video is going to be taking the place of a normal video where we usually have gold contests, we're going to have another one here. And it's not going to be the standard gold contest where you only give only give away 3,000 gold or 2,500 gold respectively to the North American or European Union servers. I'm going to go ahead and take it one step higher because it's not a normal video. It's a, going to be a, a hour and 45 minute goddamn video or something. Or, yeah, about, give or take. So, I'm going to go ahead and raise the bar. It's going to be 6.5k for the North American server. And 5.5k for the European Union server. As normal, to win said gold, you just must a put a put be subscribed to my channel. Damn, I'm tired. And B, post a comment down below. Maybe the question should be, who do you like best minus me during this whole sh shenanigans? Do you like Dave or did you like Gibby or Flat Nasty Mamo who came I'm in a little very late? late. A little late. It. God damn it. You fucker. I say redo. Uh, Nolan, Roger, <laughs> Roger, uh, any one of those guys, who do you like best and why? Uh, you guys probably can recognize who was talking, but just go ahead and give some shout outs guys So, you know, so everyone knows who you are. So, you know, not at one time. Who am I? Uh, you're Taka. Oh, Taka's on the list, but he didn't talk worth a shit. Minus me. Alright, this, hey. is, this is flat and nasty. I'm Came a, in a bit late. shithead bastard. Uh, yeah, flat and nasty for the win, yo. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'd like to thank um, my underwear tailor for not measuring all the way up to my tank. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, you can probably give that information yourselves. I find that creepy. Is that how you get the uh, numbers from the ho uh, from the hose? You damn straight. You damn straight. Straight. What? <laughs> straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, next guy. Um. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Do you guys have any shout outs you want to yell out? Minus your tailor that made your underwear. <laughs> Anyone else got shout outs? No, none of me. Pandy, Pandy, don't forget <laughs> to tell him that. Um, I'll get those photos of the earwax model of my uh, T-54 T tank. The earwax <laughs> model? Wow. Yeah, I'm, bu I'm building a, a 127th scale earwax <laughs> model of a T-54 tank and I'll have the photos up shortly. You sure it should be a fecal matter <laughs> instead? <laughs> You've been working on this for about two months now. So dude, the, dude, you, it's got to be temperature controlled. In the warmer months, I typically won't pull it out of the fridge. I keep it oh. in my in my in my deli drawer in the refrigerator. Oh my <laughs> what the fuck? The mm. fuck is wrong with you? It makes my salami <laughs> taste good. <laughs> You're so mm. That's nasty. You fucking it's nasty motherfucker. Nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the hardest part is trimming the ear hair out of oh. the wax. After you've already sculpted it onto the tank, uh, you don't want to nick the tank dude, with the point of the scissors. Okay, uh, <laughs> I, I think I think that uh, I think that he is uh, he is tainting the uh, the audio clip here, just trying to make sure that and nobody else knows any other voice. But we'll his. say something, man. <laughs> Uh, How could right, they got, forget I, yours after that 45 minute fucking round? <laughs> shut up, Flat. <laughs> I think I made the most logical point out of all of you, so shut it. <laughs> Hell, I think I, I think I'm gonna vote for Flat. I think I think <laughs> Mamo started out on one side of the argument and then convinced himself by the end of it to switch no. sides. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think he started out saying, um, I don't think stats matter. <laughs> All right, anyway. Whatever. <laughs> I had, I don't I, even... Hey, Pandy, I had fun with this, man. Thank you for having me on. Yep, yep. All right. Same here. Good Everyone, time. we, we got to do this again. Here. I don't know when we're going to do it, but I might might roll something like this again down the road, but we'll we'll figure it out, I'm sure. So, I thank everyone for watching. I'm Pandy, and good hunting. I'm Dave, and I'm playing World of Pandy. I'm, I'm Roger and Nolan, and I'm playing I'm, I'm Gibby. I love you some Pandy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I like little girls. <laughs> oh, God. Cricket, cricket. <laughs> <laughs> so what the hell was that all about? I love little Fuck. girls in a box under the bed. So, am I <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. Fuck you, Gumby. <laughs>